validate delete function or this validate delete entry point is another entry point in client script and this function accepts one parameter which is script context which has this current record and sublist id access and also there is one recent update in netsuite which actually provides you the line count when you use the script context dot line count and this value is usually get triggered or you will get this particular value whenever you click on this particular line which is called as clear all lines the coming to validate delete this validate delete function will get triggered whenever you click remove on this existing line okay now for example on this current line which i'm trying to add right it is not showing me a remove option which is like kind of a disabled right so it actually provides you this on the existing lines only so if you can click on this remove the validate delete will get triggered so in order to do that i have already added a small function which shows you the console and let's try adding a if condition and where i'm going to get the current uh, items quantity and uh, if you see this is the function which i have called or the api which i'm using to get the current quantity and i'm logging that quantity on the other hand Let's say if the quantity is equals to one, I will allow the user to delete the line item. Let's say if the existing line item quantity is more than one, I won't allow the user to delete this line. So in order to do that, I am returning false. If it's a valid one, I will return true so that user can delete it. The reason behind why I am returning the true or false is this function expects some return value, so I am passing this true. If you are not passing anything, it will consider it as false. And if it comes outside, I have already passed return, so it will be still a valid scenario. So let me upload this code to Netsuite. So now that I have uploaded this validate delete function code to Netsuite, and in order to make sure only this validate delete entry point gets triggered, I have commented out the other entry points. So if I go to Netsuite, I can see that I have created the script record which already detects the validate delete function, and this has been deployed on sales order part. So let's try creating a new sales order. Now let me just click function F12, and if I go to publish items, and then select the item. Let's say for this, I will mention the quantity as one. I will add, and if you note clearly, whenever I select a new line, I cannot see this remove button, which actually triggers the validate delete. So which means this remove button gets activated only on the existing line. Now let's go back to our code. As per my condition, to validate delete, it's if the quantity is equal to one, I will allow the user to delete. If the quantity is more than one, you can't delete that line. So let's go back to Netsuite. So let's test our first scenario, which is validate delete on the first line, which is having the quantity of one. Now if I click remove, I can see the validate delete has been triggered, and I can see the first line has been removed completely. Right now, on the second line, the quantity is two. This case, if I click remove, the validate delete will get triggered. I should not be able to delete this line itself, and I am expecting the pop-up case. This particular message: quantity is more than one, and you can't delete this line. Let's try clicking on remove, and I'm already getting the pop-up on top. Quantity is more than one. You can't delete this line, and let me click OK. And if you see, I'm still staying on the same exact line. Well, I can't remove this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the quantity to one. Let's say I'll click OK. Let's come back and try to remove. That allows me. So that's it, guys, for the validate delete function.